Hi, we're here today with Dr. Joseph Aiello. He's the medical director of San Diego Center for Integrative Family Medicine. Thanks, Dr. Aiello, for sitting down to talk with us today. Thank you. We wanted to hear a little bit about your <clears throat> medical background, your training, uh, when you got started in medicine. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about oh, that. Oh, I started practice in 1991 in Spring Valley doing family practice. Okay. Um, and now your clinic, the main philosophy of your clinic is integrative medicine. So tell us a little bit about number one, when you made that transition and why integrative medicine is mm -hmm. so important. So I started integrative medicine in 2007 and that year I started when I had joined up with Dr. Handwerger and a naturopathic doctor that came in and helped introduce integrative medicine for the practice. And at that point we were doing basic general medicine and then I realized that there was a lot of opportunity for helping patients uh, get to the root causes of their problems. And that's been the, the sort of the gist of what's been going on at the San Diego Center now. We try to get to the root cause of the patient's problems and then we integrate the different therapies that are needed to help them get through those issues. And those root causes can be nutritional, they can be mental emotional, they can be physical, and we have a lot of different options for them now that we can help them to get past some of these, these root causes and then get to a healthier lifestyle. And that's been the whole process of, of learning the different integrations. I've had to learn a lot of different natural medicines and nutritional medicine. And then we, I was doing physical therapy and physical medicine with the osteopathic manipulation, but I do more physical medicine now. With, uh, I've got an association with a physical therapist that's local that I can use that sort of understands what I do as an osteopathic physician. And then we also do regenerative medicine in which we do platelet-rich plasma and stem cell injections in which we will help to regenerate and heal any musculoskeletal injuries that may be the cause of a person's pain or their difficulties with movements or different sports activities. And so that's been sort of the idea of the, of the center, which is overall to help the patient heal themselves. That's great. And, and I know also recently you added a psychosocial component to your practice as well. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, well, so once I started getting into more integrative medicine and then sort of delving into what is going on with the patients at their root causes, you find that a lot of people, probably 75% of people, are very stressed with their lifestyle. They have insomnia, they have anxiety, they might have some depression and they are dealing with, um, maybe they're dealing with family issues or financial issues or on the road for an hour and a half to their job both ways and so they wake up early in the morning and they come home at night and they're exhausted and fatigued and they don't really have the capability of, of uh, coming out of it. So part of what we do is physically we can help the patients with nutritional recommendations and supplemental recommendations but I found that if we don't really help them mentally and emotionally and sometimes spiritually to get back to a, a basis where they can handle the stress and what's going on with them, then a lot of the steps we take physically it ends up being three steps forward and two steps backwards. Mm -hmm. So once we added the psychosocial component with Sandra, who's an MFT doing psychotherapy, we're able to help people in, in much more ways. So we can help them physically, and we can help them mentally, emotionally, and that combination is really a good um, a good combination to help people break through a lot of the issues going on like sure. anxiety and stress and insomnia and the fatigue that's happening. That's excellent. So it is truly treating the entire patient and not just treating symptoms. Right. We don't want to have the patient come in and here's your medicine and I'll see you later and, and that was kind of what was happening in the practice before I integrated was patients would come in with hypertension and diabetes and I would see them and here's your medicine and I'd see them three months later and here's your medicine. And, and nothing would really change. And I felt I wasn't doing a service to the patient. I wasn't really healing that person. So now, bringing in a nutritionist and an MFT, we can get to the root cause of what is going on within that patient and then try to get them to reverse those processes. And I had a nutritionist here before who was very dedicated to this and his comment was always, it's 20% us and 80% the patient. We can tell the patient what's going on and we like to give them a road map but the patient has to buy in and they have to want to make that change. Right. But when they do, great things can happen and changes will result. That's excellent. Well, thank you so much for telling us about that. And yes. uh, we look forward to further updates from San Diego Center for Integrated Family Medicine. Thank you very much. I'm glad. Thanks.